Good late Sunday evening. I am meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this January 12th of 2020. We were able to at least end the weekend on a nicer note today after we had a frigidly cold start. We saw temperatures go back just above normal across much of the area today. We'll, for the most part, trend above normal to start the new work week and school week out. While we keep an eye on several ways that'll come our way, we'll get to what lies ahead in just a few. But the time lapse from Indigo Sky showed stubborn clouds to start the morning out. Then we saw much brighter skies as we went throughout the course of the day. And that has certainly helped us out in terms of temperatures. Yesterday, for most of the day, we just we were just stuck in the 20s all day. We dipped into the upper teens in some spots this morning, especially at Joplin Regional. But for the most part, most of us saw us back above freezing and around Joplin, pushing into the mid to upper 40s for highs. So if you go by the hourly observations, we topped out what seemingly was 47 degrees today. Thankfully, we're looking quiet at a quarter to 11 across the 7th and range line on the east side of Joplin. Let's look at the official numbers to see how the day panned out exactly. We did start cold early in the morning at 19. A little bit of a warming trend throughout the overnight, but we did hit a high of 47 degrees, warmer than our average high of 44, but we'll definitely take it considering how cold it was to start this morning out. Uh, look at the current numbers. It's the last look at the currents just before the 11 o'clock hour. Had Joplin Regional at 36, south wind at 10, though, is making it feel like 28, otherwise the pressure is rising. Uh, we have seen temperatures across much of the area. For the most part, back above freezing. Even though the area is stuck underneath the clouds and where you still had to deal with quite a bit of uh, wintry accumulations from Saturday's bout of wintry weather, at the very least, most of us were back above freezing. A good number of you, though, back in the lower to middle 40s today. Everybody's cold, though, as we continue to dive deeper into the night. Look at our far northwestern counties. Chanute, Fredona, Yates Center, Iola. You're in the mid to upper 20s. Everybody else in the lower to middle 30s. But you factor in that breeze, it feels like we're all either in the mid to upper 20s to just about 30 degrees. On the plus side, we don't have any rain or wintry precip from the Skywatch Storm Tracker Radar Network. We stayed quiet throughout the day, despite some partly cloudy skies rotating through the northern half of the viewing area. With that said, as skies continue to turn partly cloudy overnight, there have been some areas where we picked up quite a bit of rain from Friday, in addition to the wintry precip that we still need to melt and evaporate. If all of that's still on the ground in many of these areas, it's no wonder we have dense fog advisories for mainly the northern and western parts of the viewing area from about US 400 north and 49 west until 8 o'clock as we go into Monday morning. Already we're seeing low visibilities down to about a quarter to an eighth of a mile around Iola and Chanute. If you want to take this at face value, though, zero uh, miles of visibility in Yates Center. And we're anticipating some of those areas of dense fog to really take hold in some of these areas overnight. So the visibility tracker may not be exactly what we're thinking, but we will have some of these patchy areas of fog, even dense fog, dropping visibilities down to about you know, anywhere from a quarter of a mile to a mile as we go into tomorrow morning. The, the fog will burn away, though, once we get past 8 or 9 o'clock, and thankfully the skies will look a bit brighter and certainly less foggy once we get past the morning drive. Otherwise, it'll be a cold night with most of us dropping back to about the 30-degree mark. Thankfully, though, we'll see temperatures quickly rebound once we get rid of the morning fog. We should be back near 50 by lunchtime. Okay, back to the Skywatch Storm Tracker we go. We pan to the north to see the uh, partly cloudy skies that we saw this evening. All due to an upper wave that thankfully is keeping any uh, good snow chances off in northern parts of Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. At the surface, not a lot of organized storm systems right now. Just a couple of cold fronts we're keeping an eye on. What we're really keeping an eye on, though, at least uh, first and foremost, are the upper level waves. Because that's going to really dictate how the week ahead will unfold. This upper wave that gave us a part of cloudy skies this evening, that'll rotate out of here. This one, coming out of the Pacific Northwest will come our way, giving us another round of nightly clouds, Monday going into Tuesday. And that too could even give us a few showers as we head toward Monday night. Let's see if we can pinpoint that on the future track here. We will keep an eye out for these areas of patchy and even dense fog at times in our northern and western counties. Otherwise, we're cold tonight with lows primarily in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Everybody, though, will warm up nicely once we get past any concerns of fog 
for your Monday morning. We will see temperatures near 50 by lunchtime. Most of us in the lower to middle 50s as we go into the afternoon. That's despite some partly sunny skies around the area. So we just have to get past a foggy cold start in the morning for a good number of you. Lows drop to 30, 50 by noon, going to 56 degrees. And I think we can do that with the south breeze at 5 to 15 and gusts near 20. Is that will be strong enough to continue to send in some more milder air our way. Then upstairs at the pedestrian level, that upper wave out of the Pacific Northwest, that will sweep on through. Mostly cloudy going into Monday night. A few showers can't be ruled out. Even as we head into Tuesday morning, most of you, though, should stay on the dry side. And fortunately, the cloud cover will keep us mainly in the lower to middle 40s to start your Tuesday morning out. That upper wave will depart. We'll go partly sunny for the rest of our Tuesday. Then another subtle wave that will come at us into Wednesday morning could give us some scattered showers, mainly during the morning hours on Wednesday. Otherwise, we're mostly cloudy, even though temperatures will stay in the 50s for Wednesday. Down the road, though, sticking with Doug's pattern, we'll have a stronger system start to come at us from the west by Thursday. Out ahead of it, moisture being pulled in could give us some scattered rain late on Thursday. For now, the cold enough air resulting in any wintry weather stays just in northern Missouri. So for Friday, we'll have to deal with periods of rain and thunderstorms with highs pushing into the 60s. Then as the colder air slams in as we go into Friday night and Saturday morning, I'm expecting the bulk of the precip to be out of here, but I would not be surprised if we had to end this wave with a little bit of wintry precip late Friday night and Saturday morning. So that's going to be the next big system to keep an eye on as we roll in the seven-day forecast. At least temperatures to start the work week and school week out look okay. 56 tomorrow, near 60 on Tuesday, staying in the upper 50s on Wednesday, despite these waves bringing in the rounds of clouds and some rain chances, mainly during the morning, Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we'll see that bigger system in here Thursday and Friday. We'll look at the temperature drop for the weekend. We'll start at 61 for a high on Friday, then we'll only make it into the upper 30s for Saturday and Sunday. Have a good night. Have a great Monday.